Good day, everyone. I am Jeffrey A. Abubo from Davao del Sur State College. And uh, I am here to present with you our study entitled Impact of Land Use Change on the Properties and Soil Organic Carbon Stock of a Highly Weathered Soil in Mount Pangasugan. Um, my co-author with this is Dr. Victor B. Asho, the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Food Sciences at the Visaya State University, by Bay City, Leyte. The content summary of my presentation includes the rationale, the materials and methods, the results and discussion, fourth is the conclusion, and fifth is the recommendation. So this study was conducted based on the hypothesis that the soil organic carbon stock and soil properties of the highly weathered soil in Mount Pangasugan greatly vary with land use change. More recent studies are urgently needed since land use and vegetation cover have greatly changed and thus also the soil properties and carbon stock of the area. So this is the study site where we conduct our study. So it shows the location of the studied soil profile at the VSU Forest Reserve in Mount Pangasugan by Bailiti. At the left is the map of the soil profiles, the red dots. Um, the red dots in the map shows the soil profile or the study sites. Uh, yes, the study sites. For the materials and methods, soil profile a uh, description and soil collection and preparation and handling was conducted with the guidelines for soil uh, description by FAO in 2006. So we use these guidelines for the field sampling and field uh, classification of the soil. Then, after the soil was collected, it was air-dried, pulverized, sieved, and then brought to the laboratory for analysis. Now, there are um, two, major physical, two major soil properties that are analyzed, which is the physical and chemical properties of soils. And Table 1 shows the soil physical properties and methods of analysis. So this is uh, the parameters that are gathered are particle size distribution, bulk density, moisture content, and porosity. For uh, soil chemical properties, table two shows the um, soil chemical parameters and the methods of analysis. Uh, the parameters include soil pH, organic matter, total nitrogen, available P, available phosphorus, exchangeable bases such as calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium, and the potential CEC, uh, soil organic carbon stock, and the carbon certification ratio. For the data analysis, depth function of each property were plotted. The, the determined values were compared with the ranges described by London in 1991 to interpret the nutrient levels of the soil samples if it is low, moderate, or high. Then next is the results and discussion. So the picture shows the soil profiles and the, its morphological characteristics. So as you can see that the soils has um, almost the same color and um, due to the lack of light, the photo are not that good. But as you can see that as you observe, the roots, even though the soil is forested or the area is forested, um, the soil has few or exhibits the few roots in their profile. The roots are only observable at a depth of 0 to 70 centimeter all throughout the soil profile that are studied. Um, and the color, the soil color varies, varies to uh, dark reddish brown to red. So this um, indicates the condition of the soil, which is highly weathered. Now, for the soil physical properties, um, 
Figure 3 shows the particle size distribution and textural classification of soil profiles at the studied at the BSU Forest Reserve in Mount Pangasugan. And as you observe or as the as the graph or as data shows that uh, all soils or all soil profile has a um, 50 to 90 percent percent clay. And then after the analysis was done, after the uh, percent particle size distribution was analyzed, it was plotted in the soil textural triangle. And as the data shows that uh, all soil profile or all soil horizons that are tested clustered at a heavy clay, a clay to heavy clay portion of the soil textural triangle. Here are the other physical properties that are analyzed, the bulk density, porosity, and the water holding capacity. Now for bulk density, all soil profiles has the bulk density of less than two and greater than one. And as the depth increases, the bulk density decreases. The porosity or percent porosity of the soil profiles has ranges from 50 to 60 percent. And as the depth increases, the porosity also increase. And the water holding capacity ranges from 30 to 60 percent. So this is the, um, as you observe that there is no difference uh, among the land use specifically in their uh, physical properties. They, almo they almost clustered at the same uh, percentage or the same value. Now in physical or in, sorry, now in soil chemical properties, um, we can observe that these soils are depleted in nutrient. Uh, the soil organic matter, total nitrogen, and available phosphorus are at low value, spe specifically at the lower horizon. At the greater horizon, or from 0 to 20, per, uh, 0 to 20 centimeter, we observe that especially the organic matter and nitro, uh, total nitrogen, it has moderate, uh, it has low to moderate content uh, SOM and total nitrogen. But below, it has low content of SOM and uh, nitrogen. And as, we, as you can observe that among the, among the uh, different soil profile or among the other land use, um, FN or Profile 5 or FN, which means the natural forest, has the uh, greater value specifically at the um, 0 to 20 centimeters. So it indicates that natural forest has the capability or greater capability to recycle nutrient. This is also the same with the exchangeable bases uh, like potassium, calcium, sodium, and magnesium. Um, the same that the uh, natural forest has the higher value, which means that it has the greater capability to recycle this exchangeable basis, specifically at the greater or at the higher or at the upper horizon, which is from 0 to 20 centimeter. And uh, it is, although it is depleted with this um, exchangeable basis, basis, it shows that the soil is highly weathered. But in terms of recycling the Exchangeable basis, natural forest or original forest has the greater capability to recycle nutrient. Now for soil organic carbon stock and um, the carbon stratification, stratification ratio, let me uh, define first what is soil organic carbon stock. So SOC is a component of organic matter that can be measured. Its stock stability and role are vital to the soil in global carbon cycle. While carbon certification ratio is defined as the ratio of carbon in, ab in the above horizon to that of the lower horizon, it is important to determine the condition and functioning of the soil. Greater than two certification ratio or threshold indicates good soil condition. So figure seven shows the SOC stocks and carbon certification ratio of the studied profile. So as you observe or as we observe that the Natural forest has the highest carbon, uh, carbon soil organic carbon stock among the studied soil profile. In terms of uh, carbon stratification ratio, all soil profiles has below two, below two 
um, carbon stratification ratio. So in conclusion, the change in land use from natural forest to plantation forest appears to have changed some soil morphological and physicochemical properties of the higher of the highly weathered soil in the study sites. The soil under the natural forest showed a redder soil color and more coarse roots in the surface horizons that the soil under or soils under the plantation forest. The soil under natural forest also has higher soil organic matter, total nitrogen, available phosphorus, and exchangeable bases than the soils under the plantation forest. Moreover, the organic carbon stock of the soil under the natural forest was also higher than in the soils in the plantation forest. And in terms of the carbon stratification ratio, all the soils have values below the threshold of two, suggesting that the ratio did not detect differences in the soil quality among the soils under the different vegetation cover. So we recommend that there is a need to evaluate further the usefulness of the carbon stratification ratio and probably also the nitrogen stratification ratio. It has to be verified if the soil depth considered in the calculation should be modified to 10 centimeter or 15 centimeter instead of the recommended 20 centimeter. And that's all about my presentation. Thank you for the opportunity and God bless all. God bless us all.